If you wanted to cure cancer or solve Alzheimer's disease, would you study a jellyfish? A lot of people would say, no way. What does medical research have to do with a sea creature? But it turns out that asking a simple question about a jellyfish led to a powerful new tool that's completely transformed research. It all began with a simple question. What makes a jellyfish glow? There's a type of jellyfish known as the crystal jelly. A researcher named Osamu Shimomura began studying it in the 1960s, and he discovered a protein in the jellyfish that glows bright green under a UV light. It came to be known as the green fluorescent protein, or GFP for short. Years later, a researcher named Martin Chalfie heard about the green fluorescent protein at a conference. I got very excited and immediately ignored the rest of the seminar and just sat there fantasizing about what would happen if we could possibly take this protein and allow it to be made inside of our worms and look at how things were being made. At the time, he was studying these small organisms called roundworms. There's all this activity going on inside of an organism that's completely invisible to researchers, even with a microscope. Martin realized that he could use GFP as a way to map the inner workings of a roundworm. This was a big deal. Like the invention of the microscope, the X-ray, or the MRI, green fluorescent protein opened up a new world for scientists. They could suddenly see what was happening inside of a cell that had been completely invisible before. But the green fluorescent protein wasn't perfect. It would lose its glow over time, and it wasn't the ideal color for all studies. Here's where UC San Diego researcher Roger Chen enters the story. Roger developed variants of GFP that were brighter and came in a variety of colors beyond green. And uh, we then had to come up with names for these, and upon uh, examination of the Crayola website and uh, other consultations, we realized that the simplest, instead of giving them numerical names, were names like monomeric banana, orange, tandem, dimer, tomato, tangerine, etc., all the way out to plum. This beach scene in a petri dish was made using some of these colorful variants in Roger's lab at UC San Diego. But these glowing proteins aren't just pretty. They allow researchers to mark and observe more than one thing at a time. Researchers at Harvard University use them to color nerve cells in a mouse's brain to see how they form a network. The experiment was called the Brainbow. Today, scientists at some of the world's leading hospitals use green fluorescent proteins to study all sorts of diseases. UC Davis uses it for HIV research, while UC San Diego uses GFPs to track breast cancer tumors, and Mass General has used the technology to better understand Alzheimer's disease. When Osamu Shimomura began his research, he didn't know that this jellyfish protein would lead to a scientific revolution. He was just trying to answer a basic question about how our world works. And in 2008, these three researchers won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. One has to wonder how many other secrets there are out there and organisms that we're not being able to look at because funding is not viewed as important for research when in fact we need to learn so much more. In science, ideas are kind of like seeds. If you're lucky, a seed will grow and expand the boundaries of human knowledge, but it's hard to know which seeds will take root. Take any invention or modern innovation, and in its history, you'll find decades, or even centuries, of odd and obscure research that led to its creation. The development of green fluorescent proteins took decades of work, and it wouldn't have been possible without sustained funding from federal agencies like the National Institutes for Health and the National Science Foundation. Funding for federal research agencies is more important than ever as we tackle some of the greatest scientific and technological challenges of our time. To find out more about how you can support federal research funding, click on the link in the description.